Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about rigor mortis and aging of meat. Let us discuss the muscle to meat topic today. Meat. Meat is the post rigor aspect of muscle and the most abundant constituent of the carcass. Meat accounts for about 35 to 65 percentage of carcass weight. 30 to 40 percent of live weight of meat animals. Meat is primarily composed of skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles means striated muscles. Skeletal muscles, 75 percent of water. What are the components of skeletal muscles? 75 percent of water, 20 percent of protein, 1 to 10 percent of fat, and 1 percent of glycogen. Importance of meat composition, water. Due to high water shrinkage is a major problem during cooking. Protein is an important nutrient. It coagulates when it is heated. Muscle tissue becomes firmer and loses moisture. Doneness is related to the desired degree of muscle protein coagulation. Excessive coagulation toughens protein. Next up fat. Fat gives juiciness, flavor and tenderness to meat. Carbohydrate or glycogen present in insignificant amount in meat necessary for the Maillard reaction to occur resulting in flavor and browning in meats. Major muscle components myofibers, connective tissue and adipose tissue. Here Muscle fibers, 90% of muscle, muscle fibers are there and 10% of connective and adipose tissues. Muscle fibers, it comes of many myofibrils which in turn are made up of mainly three types of myofilaments. Thick, thin and elastic. Thick one are known as myosins, thin one are known as uh, actins and elastic ones are known as titin filaments. These myofilaments are organized into a chain of repeating units called sarcomeres. That is the basic contractile unit of muscle. Basic contractile unit of muscle is known as sarcomere. Sarcoplasm. The cytoplasm of a muscle fiber is composed of mainly glycosomes. That means stored glycogen. Myoglobin and calcium ion. Connective tissues. Comprised of fibrous protein, mainly collagen and elastin. Fat, intermuscular and intramuscular fats. Intramuscular fats plays a key role in various quality traits of meat. Mostly consist of structural lipids, phospholipids and storage lipids. Muscle fibers determine the texture or grain of meat. Fine grained meat. Small muscle fibers bound in small bundles that are known as fine grain meat. Coarse textured meat. What is coarse textured meat? Large muscle fibers that are known as coarse textured meat. Connective tissue binds muscle fibers together in bundles. Collagen broken down by heat, acids, enzymes, and tenderizers, elastin must be physically removed or broken down mechanically. Next the fat deposited throughout tissue as marbling. We had already discussed about marbling in the last class. It separates muscle fibers and makes them easier to chew. Surface fat retains moisture during cooking. Conversion of muscle to meat. After the slaughter of a meat animal, all the system stop functioning and muscles of the dead animal traverse through a series of biochemical and physical changes over a period of time. These altogether lead to production of meat. The important biochemical changes that take place during postmortem periods are follows. The first one, exsanguination, loss of homeostasis, postmortem glycolysis and pH decline, rigor mortis, aging, loss of protection from invading microorganisms, loss of structural integrity. First one, exsanguination. It is the first step and marks the beginning of a series of postmortem changes in the muscle. Blood is removed from the animal. 
that is known as exsanguination sheep and goat bleed better in vertical position but in the case of cattle bleed better in horizontal position 15% of total blood volume is removed blood is an excellent medium for the growth of spoilage organism and meat cuts with excess blood are unappealing to the consumer therefore it is an important factor that determines the keeping quality of meat loss of homeostasis homeostasis is the maintenance of a physiologically balanced internal environment it is controlled by nervous system which ceases to function within four to six minutes after bleeding there is loss of body heat and temperature starts declining post-mortem glycolysis, glycolysis and ph decline in the absence of oxygen anaerobic glycolysis leads to the formation of lactic acid from the glycogen reserves ph decreases one of the most significant change during the conversion of muscle to meat within six to eight hours ph decreases gradually from seven in living muscle to 5.6 to 5.7 later on within 24 hours ultimate ph of 5.4 to 5.5 is reached two undesirable conditions in meat two undesirable conditions dft means dark firm and dry very slow decline of ph ultimate ph 6.5 to 6.8 Next, PSC. PSC means pale, soft and exudative. Sharp decline in pH in first hour. Ultimate pH 5.4 to 5.5. Rigor mortis. What is rigor mortis? In Latin, rigor means stiffness and mortis of death. It refers to stiffening of muscles after death. It is an important event in change of muscle to meat. Muscle to meat. Muscles become inextensible or contracted and joints become stiffened due to permanent cross bridges between actin and myosin filaments in the muscle. Most active muscle enters rigor first. Start from muscles of eyelids, muscles of heart, head, neck, shoulder, loin and hind limbs and passes off in the same direction. Rigor mortis begins at approximately 2 to 6 hours after death, reaches maximum by 12 hours and ends up after 72 hours. There are three stages, delay phase, onset phase and completion. Delay phase. There is plenty of ATP in the muscles. The muscle will remain in the relaxed state and no cross bridges between the thick and thin myofilaments will occur. Muscle is quite extensible. Onset phase as stores of ATP and creatine phosphate are used up, rigor bonds between the thick and thin myofilaments are formed. As more bonds are formed, the muscle loses extensibility. The formation of ectomyosin proceeds with great rapidity in this phase. Completion. When all of the creatine phosphate is used up, the muscle has no way of regenerating ATP. In this phase, irreversible actomyosin bridges are formed. Resolution of rigor. That is not rigor off. After the muscle reaches the maximum rigor, many biochemical and physical changes occur. Muscles again soften during this progressive resolution. Changes that occur, Z-line <coughs> disintegration, protease effect, protease effect means effect of endopeptidase, catepsin, lysosomal enzymes. On completion of rigor of meat becomes tender and juicy, taste, flavor and water retention increases. The time for onset of, of rigor mortis, beef and lamb, 6 to 2 hours, in the case of pork, 15 minutes to 3 hours. In the case of turkey, less than one hour, chicken, less than 30 minutes. Generally, rigor mortis in fish has a shorter duration than in mammals. Aging of meat, also called conditioning or ripening of meat. Process of tenderization by holding carcasses just above its freezing point. 
and hence when in tenderness and flavor of meat flavor is due to inosin means inosin monophosphate two main proteolytic enzymes it is very very important calpins and catepsins are playing an important role over here catepsins present in lysosomes act as act at acidic ph degrade collagen calpins calcium activated sarcoplasmic factor activated by calcium ions higher ph and temperature calpins causes proteolysis of cytoskeletal proteins calpins are the more important in aging aging period cattle 40 days sheep and goat 7 days pigs 5 days and chicken 2 days loss of structural integrity there is postmortem alteration of membrane proper properties Resolution of rigor mortis results in disintegration of Z-line structure. Conditioning leads to breakdown of myofibrillar structure and denaturation of collagenous connective tissue. Loss of protection from invading microorganisms. Due to altered membrane properties, muscles become susceptible to invasion of microorganisms. Except the lowered pH, all of the postmortem changes favor the growth of the microorganisms. Lowered pH of the muscle inhibits the microbial proliferation. Physical changes of the muscle. Biochemical postmortem changes bring about the following changes in the physical characteristics of the muscle. What are the changes? Color, firmness, water holding capacities. Color. Color is the most common quality indicator. Major pigment responsible for meat color is myoglobin. Myoglobin, globular protein portion and a non-protein portion, heme ring and globin plus heme ring that is myoglobin. The more myoglobin content meat contains, the darker red it will appear in color. Myoglobin content is higher in beef, lower in poultry. Lamb and the case of lamb and pork, intermediate amount of myoglobin will be there. Myoglobin has three natural colors depending on it. Exposure to oxygen, the chemical state of the iron. After exsanguination of the animal, oxygen is used up dark purplish red, deoxymyoglobin. Exposure to oxygen, bright red color, bloom, oxymyoglobin, oxidized, ion is oxidized, form of myoglobin that is met myoglobin and imparts brown color, pink color of cured meats, addition of sodium nitrate will be there such as ham, bacon, hot dogs and bologna, nitrosomyoglobin, firmness. With progress of the rigor process, the muscles tends to be more and more stiff and firm due to formation of permanent actomyosin complexes. Again, after resolution of rigor, enzymatic degradation and protein denaturation, sorry, protein denaturation give the muscles less firm consistency. Water holding capacity is defined as the ability of a meat to retain its water during application of external forces such as cutting, grinding, pressing and heating. Color, texture, juiciness, tenderness and partly influenced by water holding capacity of the meat. Changes in water holding capacity of meat depend upon the rate and extent of the pH decline and the extent of protein denaturation. Water holding capacity of muscle is lowest when it reaches ultimate pH of 5.5. Exudation of fluid from fresh meat is known as whip. Thawed uncooked meat is known as drip. And cooked and stored meat is known as shrink. During conversion of muscles to meat, parameters such as the tenderness, juiciness, flavor, color, emulsifying capacity, binding properties, cooking losses, Cooked meat color, etc., are be affected to varying degree. All these factors determine the final quality of the meat. Nutritional composition of meat is highly nutritious food and is almost fully digestible. 
has abundant high quality proteins essential fatty acids some important minerals and b complex groups of vitamins meat protein is rich in essential amino acids myofibrillar and sarcoplasmic proteins are of very high quality because they contain essential amino acids connective tissue proteins have lower levels of pro tryptophan and sulfur containing amino acids collagen is poor in lysine content meat fats high amount of essentially fatty acids most important are oleic acid followed by palmitic acid and stearic acids pork and organ meats are good source of linoleic and linolenic acids meat fat contain some quantity of cholesterol which increases blood cholesterol level meat minerals good source of all minerals except calcium potassium is most abundant followed by phosphorus it's a good source of iron meat vitamins excellent source of b complex thiamine riboflavin niacin are also present vitamin c is almost absent in the case of meats liver is a rich source of iron riboflavin niacin and other vitamins thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button for notifications